Uh, Damien, that one must feel really good. Uh, it did from whatever 9.55 to about 5 past 10, but uh, dead pan me, here I am again. It's great, but you don't get extra points for beating Rovers, the best team in the country. We move on and we'll start working again tomorrow morning. Talk me through that first 30 minutes because it was an electric start from the Reds. It was electric, uh, they showed their, obviously their quality, but their fitness, their strength, their power, their speed, and uh, it was a good at 30 minutes as I've seen here um, at Tolka Park from us. And then maybe you could compare it to the, the last 30 minutes doing the dirty work, uh, willing to put your body on the line for each other, for the club to get three points. So the game tonight, from our point of view, had everything and even from the neutrals, you'd say. You've talked about elite mentality over your time here to miss the penalty so early on, but still continue to, to dominate that game in the early exchanges. Is that the hallmark of that elite mentality you talk about? Absolutely. Uh, that resilience. Can you put it into people? I don't know, but uh, certainly the people on the pitch tonight just have it and they have it innately. Uh, so yeah, wonderful. Tyreek missed the penalty here, fine. I was fine, he was fine. And uh, yeah, like I spoke to the guys post-match last week, performances, they're always driven by mentality and the mentality tonight was outrageously good. Particularly pleasing for Mark Coyle, I know he wasn't happy with his performance in, in Waterford Either last were we. day. <laughs> He, he, he certainly made up for a man of the match tonight. Yeah, well, again, it's that mentality thing. He obviously took Mark off and it was a big night for him, his first competitive game as a captain. But uh, like I told Mark, he knows it. Um, it doesn't mean you stay in the pitch for every minute of the game. If you don't perform, you come off. But here it could have been five, six, seven, eight lads last week. The one thing about Mark, and that's why he is captain, he's a proper man and a wonderful mentality. And the fact that he was below par last week and we took him off. I knew I'd get that tonight and uh, we did. As a team performance, it's very, very good defensively. As electric as you were in attack, you had to do an awful lot of work back there, deal with an awful lot of crosses. Are you happy and proud of how the players dealt with it? Yeah, I couldn't be any prouder. Um, absolutely an amazing shift. It's, it's everything we're built on. Um, that could have been naughty, take his head off. Uh, it's everything we're built on. I said to the guys as they were going out in the second half, um, yeah, for as good as you were the first half and you know some wonderful stuff was played, do not ever forget who we are. We're built on hard work and just dying for each other. And you could say that got us over the line in the second half. Particularly when you came under that bit of pressure, it never really looked, even when absorbing that pressure, that we were we weren't going to get a result, if that makes sense. Yeah, here, they were always going to come out of the blocks. Like I said, they're the best team in the country for a reason. Awful start from us. It was a poor goal. For us. It's a good goal from their point of view. It's a bad goal from, from us to concede. We obviously changed our shape then, gave us a bit more foothold in the game. And, uh, yeah, we might have looked animated, but I think we felt calm on the touchline anyway. The lads had to put in an incredible shift. Somebody told me beforehand we're a defensive team, we're absolutely not. But when you're playing Rovers, you're going to defend, and we had to. 2005, the last time we bet Rovers, that was in Daily Mount when they were homeless. 2004, the last time we bet them in Talca. I mean, it's been a long time coming in the league. Yeah, we touched on it briefly before the game. Uh, sometimes you have to do special things to get that monkey off your back, and without a doubt, the guys did special things tonight. Fantastic! Everything we d we've done in the last couple of years, it always seems to be, oh, last time we did that was 20 years ago. So uh, it's a good, I guess, team to be compared to. But uh, we are absolutely not getting carried away. So much respect for uh, that team. They're the best team in the country. And we have a long, long way to get anywhere near them. There was a lovely moment at the end. You took the players in, you said a few words. You don't have to tell us exactly what you said, but what was the gist of the message? Um, I didn't say anything. Um, I just wanted the whole stadium and everybody to see how tight we are and what we are. So the huddle, you might think, ah, oh, it's no, it's not. It has meaning, and uh, I think it's powerful. So now I wanted Mark to talk. He's still learning the role somewhat. So uh, I just threw it on him. Huddle in now, speak. So uh, now it's. I'm trying to keep the head down. I asked Joey to do the press, the media guys there, the yellow toy, LOI TV and you. Um, because I think I've spoken enough this week and I hate being in the paper for him. He said this, he said that. 
but Joe stitched me up with Kipper. He says, nah, I think you should do it, Gaff. I was like, cheers, Joe. He's probably gone to the pub. Um, so yeah, it wasn't me speaking. It's all about the players. Tell me this, did you notice there's a new sound system at Talca? Did you notice the atmosphere? Did you notice the music? Yes, I did. I hear videos were sent to me a few weeks back. Uh, I was up in the dresser or the staff office after the game and it certainly felt louder. Um, but here, I'm not here for music, it's what's done on here. So once the, the fans are happy um, with the sound system, once you are, uh, once you're happy with the playlist, that's all that matters. You send them home happy anyway, Damien. Congratulations. Cheers, man.